back at the CHFMF and today you know we back with another video but this video is a little different right this video basically is me right taking a video and I'm going to basically react to it at the end right but to me it's, it's, it's like doing a shorter form of videos to where it's like if I don't have any content ideas or anything I'm just react to a video on TikTok like this or any video or you know it's from YouTube you know it's just some you know just some little if I don't have no ideas so this is like a newer form of content so y'all fuck with it let me know but yeah here goes the video no your value it's kind of dangerous to be a diamond in the dirt because because you're not propped up in a store with the with the glitz and the glamour people see that it's a diamond but they need you to access the diamond so they want you to believe that you're a rock they want you to believe that you just another rock in the dirt with the rest of the rocks they don't want you to know that you <laughs> they don't want you to know that you're a diamond right now first things first the, the first little part of that right um you know he talked about you know the whole diamond and the rope situation and you know how when, when when they find you right well not everybody I'm gonna put this on everybody but most people when they find something in the dirt they first like they first thing is like most people ain't gonna believe they found a diamond right most people not gonna believe that so most people try to devalue that that diamond because let's say I went out I went outside my front yard and let's say I found a, a diamond in the front yard, but it's dirty and shit. You think I'm finna wash that off? No, because I think it's a rock, nigga. I actually think that diamond is, most people won't wash that rock off. They would think it's what, they would think that's actually a rock. They're not gonna wash that diamond. They're not gonna, they're not gonna wash that. And I understand that because I've treated people like that in the past to where I didn't realize they were a diamond, you know what I mean? And now I, I, I'm in a place to where I try not to devalue things, you know. I try to give them their full worth. Friends, family, I try to give them like the actual full worth that I think they like that's deserving to them, you know. I ain't trying to downplay nobody no more. And I don't want nobody to downplay me. So, yeah, I, yeah. let's finish the video. Because if you're a diamond, that means that they can't have access to you because they can't afford a diamond. They can afford a rock, though. So they'll treat you like a rock. The second that you realize you're a diamond and you start acting like who you really are, oh, that's going to hurt their feelings because they knew they couldn't afford it from the beginning. All right. Now, as we see, there were two things he said in that little bit. He was like, the first one was about how most people can't afford diamonds, right? And we're not talking about the whole money aspect of things. No, we, we ain't talking about the whole money aspect. I we talking about friendship wise. As, as, as I spoke about earlier, we don't see value in other people. We don't really we don't see value in our friends. We don't we, we usually don't see that. You know, matter of fact, I was talking to one of my friends. What? I think he hit me up. He was like. Oh, he didn't see the value in me at one point. And I ain't finna cap and say I'm like the best, like the most goaded friend of them. But that, 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 that struck, you know, I was like, damn. That made me like reflect. I was like, damn, I didn't see value in, in some of my friends. I ain't saying names about nobody. I ain't doing that. But I ain't see value in some of my friends either. So, people, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I want to sound competitive with them. But people can't afford diamonds, so they keep you in a place of where, nigga, you, you're a rock ass nigga. You're rock. You ain't nothing higher than the rock. Your worth is a rock, nigga. And people try to keep you at that specific point where you ain't getting higher than that, right? So find somebody that's going that sees your worth. Find people that see your worth. As you know, if it's relationship, you know, you got girlfriend, boyfriend, uh. You're talking about family, you know, You're talking about friends. Make sure you find niggas that see your worth and that know and they know you worth more. And they're also talking about feelings. Feelings come into play, right? Because when you when you was kept at a rock level for so long, 
and you start to not care about that person feeling the person that looked at you and that came to you for everything and then you realize they ain't really fuck with you in the first place they keep you in that rock position don't fuck with them niggas bro don't <laughs> it's, it's simple it's simple bro you gonna hurt their feelings but at the same time you gonna feel growth as drake said i've been losing friends and finding peace but honestly that sounds like a fair trade to me come nigga find your peace nigga you a diamond you a diamond find your peace they'll place your value on you for you why because they need you to believe that you're a rock as long as they can so that they can get diamond value out of you know your value or you're gonna be out here being treated like a rock you all right that's really the end of the video um so if y'all you know hopefully y'all got the message right that's really the, the end of the video um so basically just sum everything up know your worth don't place value on nobody else but yourself right know your worth know that you a diamond right and if you don't if you don't really know you're a diamond work on yourself stop taking stop taking a rock value unless you are the rock but you know <laughs> we ain't the rock you know just we ain't the rock so look, look, look. to each his own but basically Stop taking less and stop letting other people place their value onto you. You know your value. You know what you can succeed in, right? You know your limitations. And even when you know your limitations, break through that shit, nigga. Break, break through your limitations. That's some ultra instinct, ultra ego type shit, you know? You know? Mm. If y'all watch Dragon Ball Z, you don't understand that reference. That's some, no. Break through your limits, nigga. Go with your instinct on niggas, bro. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. So, peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gay. Yeah, get your sack right. Get your sack right. Go get your sack right. Get your sack right. Get your sack right. Yeah.